In this experiment, I want to investigate one of these keychain lights that contain tritium gas and a phosphor. Beta particles that are emitted by the tritium gas cause the phosphor to glow and produce the light that you see here. And I was always interested in knowing whether or not these things emit an appreciable amount of radiation. So I've set up a Geiger counter here and I've been recording background radiation for the last couple of minutes. And let's see what that comes to. This is in millisieverts. So, sorry, millirems per hour. So it's pretty low, as you can see here. It's of the order of 0 0.01 millirems per hour. Not a lot of radiation. So that's just the background radiation uh, that I'm picking up in this garage where I'm making the video. Now, what I'm going to do is place this tritium containing keychain light in front of the Geiger counter and see if there's any appreciable radiation. I can already hear an uptick and you can visualize it here. So what I know is going on here is that the beta particles and neutrinos that are being emitted, the beta particles are slamming into the glass of the container. There's a glass container and producing Bremsstrahlung Bremstra lung radiation, which is what is being detected. So that's x-rays and gamma rays that are being detected by the Geiger counter. Let's look at the uptick now. So we're already at almost four times background radiation, which in the grand scheme of things is not a lot of radiation. So if you had this thing sitting in your pocket, it's not going to really do a whole lot. So we're getting up above four times background. From Bremstrahlung radiation being emitted by this keychain light. So there you go. These things do emit detectable radiation, but it's not a lot. It's four times background, and it's likely not beta particles because they're not going to make it through that thick glass or the metal. So it's just Bremsstrahlung. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you like these type of videos, and peace out.